My name is Stella, Stella Lawrence, and I am 22, just turned 22 on the 14th. Um, I came here because of a wonderful friend of mine who got me to realize that my culture, my people, my community is me and I am them and they mean a lot to me. I would not have gotten this far without him. Um, he got me to, to be where I am at now with my education and my insight of what I know about actually what happened in history from slavery to head wraps to pretty much anything um, and am I grateful for him eternally and I hope he knows how much of an effort that he has made um, I do have a lot of insight as to the injustice and to the brutality of my people in some aspects no because they want to hold that power for themselves because maybe that's the only thing that they've ever felt good with. Um, do I think that they should share it? By all means, yes. Um, or even like make organizations or communities or resources available for people who don't have as much privilege or as much luck, I guess you can call it, because of our circumstances, whether it be family, schools, um, financial situations, spiritual, spiritual situationships, um, literally it could be anything. And so we have to strive by for a penny, a dip, nickel and a dime to get by. Well, personally, some of the issues that I feel like would be home life, coming from someone who has been homeless multiple times this past year, and who is a trans woman, there's not a lot of resources or outreaches out there for trans women who that are safe, that are reliable um, and a lot of them are mainly for black males. Um, does it suck? Yes. Is it right? No. Um, would I change it? Definitely because Either the outreaches and houses are for DV relationship, DV situationships, and they're always full um, to point where you can't get in, and so you're out wandering the streets of wherever you're living till five, six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. Um, unfortunately, I would change the fact that the hotels that are in said area, um, which only care about economical gain. I would tell them that, hey, if there's a really bad situation, we can't cover money right now. We would like to give you money, but we can't. We just need maybe a room to stay for a night or a couple of nights so that we can finally get out of the situation until we can find something better. 211 isn't really that great. I've called 211, spoke to 211, and they only do something once or twice. Not that great either. So, I would change all of that around to make it better for my people. Well, coming from someone who has been raised by white people and who has been raised on the other hand by white folk, there was a big major gap between white people and white folk. White people can say and well can feel like they could say and do and act however they want without no consequences attached, good or bad. White folk will get invited to the cookout and might even be there to help you clean up and set up early and might get a plate or two for your families and their families' families. White folk will help you and support you 24-7, 365, all holy days and all holidays included, not just 20 measly menial little days of February. White people will look at you like you're nothing more than a pig on a spit made to be eating for a Christmas dinner, okay? They will educate, the, the white folk will educate the people, white people specifically, on hey, you shouldn't say that. Hey, that's wrong. Hey, don't be like that to my friend or to my partner or to whoever. And they will not give up in the world if they're rude. White people on the other hand, cry and complain and 
much moan because they didn't get a coffee order right from a little Starbucks on the street made by a little Debbie Janet, okay? If you're out of money or out of, I don't know, something I need, who is going to be there to support you? Probably the white folk. Is the white person? They're going to look at you like, not my problem, I don't care, that's your own fault. So is a difference between folks and people? Big difference. I see a big change for this community. A big, big change, whether it's one small person who makes a big difference or it be a group of 50 military men who make a big difference, okay? As I said before, and I'll say it again for those louder in the back, we as a nation must do better, be better, help better, love better, teach better and just be better as a nation, as a people, as a person, as a community, so that we can help our generations and our generations' generations eventually squash this issue flat like Cinderella's pumpkin on, on her ball party, okay? We're not gonna be here 70, 80, 90 years much longer. We don't know what's gonna happen. We all could blow up into the everlanding abyss tomorrow or tonight. And what are we gonna be remembered as? as people who were mean and who were brutal and who only cared about our financial and our self-entitlement self. So do better, please.